What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing our build of this 2017 Toyota 86. All the parts came in. This car has some pretty bad front end damage. So let's go ahead and throw it on the frame rack, get the parts aligned, and go from there. Oh. Nope, not happening. I guess we're going to the old room. Guys, quick confession time. When we started filming this video, it was beautiful 2017 Toyota 86. It was dry outside. It was like November. Two or three months later, we're still filming the video, but now we have different circumstances. We've got a ton of snow out. So we've been actually working on a different project, which the videos you've already seen. It's this amazing looking uh, WRX, which the videos are done for that one. But now we're on to the 86. So let's hop in. Let's see what the frame guys did because guys, let me tell you, she's looking clean. So funny thing is, you pop the hood, it doesn't even pop. but it doesn't pop up. <laughs> it's so just... I think that one of the springs might be broken, but it opens up, so we're good there. The only thing we bought was this little segment right here, mm -hmm. and and that's because it was bent. We didn't want to try straightening it out. We just bought it straight from Subaru. Uh, the guys bolted it in there, and frame-wise, they said there wasn't any frame damage. So yeah. it was literally just like this. This edge was a little bit bent, mm -hmm. and then they just lined everything up, so it looks clean. To be honest, check this out. It lines up like perfect. Look, check this out. It Boom. It's right in place. When we came back, I'm like, we don't need to do any adjustments. We don't need to do nothing. We're gonna throw a rubber gasket in here, which comes with the car. Yeah. And it lines up perfect. Dude, that's exactly why you only buy dealer parts. When you buy dealer parts, everything lines up so nicely. It just, it makes your life a million you don't times need to worry easier. about trying to like tweak something or do something. It looks good. But that's pretty much it. Everything that the frame guys did and put together. Let's go ahead, throw that rebar in and then go from there and get this car back together. Let's do it, man.
does have a little bit of more of a matte look, but for us, since all this is gonna be covered up, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean, if you see, this is what was painted and this is what the original course board is. This one is like, like matte, matte, glossy, yeah. and this is, has like a metallic look. And if you look at this fender, the inside of it is actually silver, and the fender that we have is black. So this is a new fender. So yeah. let's scuff it down. Let's get paint the inside. So just so it can match up. Yep. And that way, anybody that looks inside, they won't see a single difference. So. Exactly. So let's pull off the rebar and then throw in the radiators, condensers, all that kind of let's stuff. Do it, man. It's twisted, you see that? Oh shoot. It is. It definitely is. All right, so we're kind of taking a risk putting this radiator in. This is the original radiator and condenser from the car. One thing we don't know is if the radiator is shot or not. Yeah. So we're gonna take a risk, we're gonna install it, and we'll just, you know, we'll throw some fluid in there and we'll see if it's leaking anywhere. Dude, that's tough luck for us. We're <laughs> gonna have to literally just buy a radiator and throw it in there. So as we were putting it together and putting on the final touches, we noticed that it's actually busted right there. That's it. The radiator's busted. We thought it was gonna be fine, but when I was screwing it in, I'm like, what is this wet? It's like super wet here. And this is not even where you put in, pour in the coolant. Yeah. Coolant is right there. And it's definitely coming out of here. We don't wanna mess around with like putting it on and then, dude, if it's like busted. We gotta fix it. We're gonna order one up. I think we should get one here pretty quick. So let's go ahead and order it and then we'll throw it in and we should be good to go. Alrighty guys, that is gonna be a wrap on today's video. We got a ton of work done, but we still got a lot more to go. If you're liking the content, feel free to like this video and subscribe. It helps us grow our channel and we can keep doing more builds like this. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok to get behind the scenes and exclusive content that you won't see here on YouTube. That being said, thank you guys for all your love and support. We'll catch you next time. Peace.